Good morning. When we believed God for this airplane, then we also had to believe God for the fuel to put in the airplane. Well, I told Frank, I said, we, the same God that gives us the fuel will give it to us before we leave the ground. Because I knew when, once we got in the air, if we ran out of fuel, we were going to crash. Well, the same is true of your faith life. You have to fill your tank up with the Word of God so that you don't crash. Like Paul says, many have made shipwreck concerning faith. You don't want to crash your journey of life by not having the fuel in your tank. So I'm going to tell you very briefly how to tank up on the Word of God. The Word has the faith in it that you are going to need for life. The just shall live by his faith. But faith only comes one way, and that's by hearing the Word of God. And there are steps to putting that faith, putting that gas in your spirit man. And that is, my son, attend to my words. In other words, find the promises that you need concerning your healing. Find the promises that you need concerning the wealth and riches. Find the promises that you need concerning being debt free. Find the promises that you need concerning your mental, your mind, your memory, everything. There is a promise for everything in the Word of God. But you have to put it in. Romans says this, that we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, but with the mouth confession is made unto your deliverance, unto your health, unto your wealth and riches, unto your children being delivered and set free and mighty on the face of this earth. So go to the promise. Speak the truth in your heart. Speak those promises. As you speak them, they get into your heart. They come out of your mouth with power, and it produces the results. Stay in the Word of God. Speak only the Word of God, and you will see every circumstance in your life come in line with the Word of God in the name of Jesus. Remember that Jesus is Lord, and the Word works.